Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is your boy Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live. And once again, Aurora has big news. Aurora Cannabis invests $10 million into N-Wave and licenses drying technology. This is breaking news, hot off the presses. Aurora Cannabis announced today that the companies have entered into an N-Wave Corporation, which is on the TSX under the symbol ENW. And in Frankfurt, under the symbol E4U, announced today that the companies have entered into a royalty-bearing commercial license agreement, providing Aurora with the exclusive rights to N-Wave's patented Radiant Energy Vacuum REVTM drying technology for the production of cannabis materials in the European Union, excluding Portugal. Why are you excluding Portugal? Aurora has also secured exclusive license options for both Australia and South America, excluding Peru, exercisable pursuant to minimum REV trademark machine purchase order requirements. Additionally, Aurora has signed a non-exclusive sub-license to use REV trademark technology in Canada. The companies furthermore announced that Aurora has placed a purchase order for two of N-Wave's 120K REV trademark dehydration systems for its Aurora Sky and Aurora Sun facilities in Canada as well as the intention to purchase a third 120 KW REV trademark dehydration system for its Aurora Nordic facility in Denmark within 60 days. The REV trademark dehydration system will be used to increase throughput of material for, of extraction for extraction and use in derivative cannabis products. Aurora has also acquired a 10 kilowatt pilot scale REV trademark machine for product development, protocol development, and R&D. This is big news, and Aurora's up slightly around $12.24 right now. N-Wave's patented REV trademark technology is a rapid, low-temperature, continuous-drying method that maintains the optimal terpene profile, flavor, as well as other product attributes during the drying process. The company's vacuum microwave technology enables uniform drying with flexible moisture content, unattainable with freeze drying or air drying. Aurora and N-Wave have agreed to enter into an artificial intellectual, sorry, <laughs> intellectual property agreement with the intent to jointly develop new innovations relating to REV trademark technology that are applicable to the cannabis industry. All intellectual property developed under the IPA will be owned by N-Wave, but any real, real, realizable commercial value will be shared on an undisclosed basis with Aurora. All other terms of the IPA are confidential. Pursuant to the license, Aurora will share an undisclosed percentage of the royalties generating through the sub-licensing of N-Wave's patented portfolio to sub-licensees in the jurisdiction where the company holds the exclusive rights to REV trademark technology. N-Wave and Aurora will jointly benefit through economic alignment by working together to propagate the global cannabis industry with REV trademark machinery. Once again, Aurora's doing it again. This guy's just little by little taking care of and taking advantage of everything. Strategic equity investment. To further cement the economic alignment between the companies, Aurora has made a 10 million strategic equity investment in N-Wave pursuant to the terms of the share purchase agreement between the parties dated April 25th, 2019. Aurora has purchased 5,302,227 common shares of the capital of N-Wave at a deemed price of 188.6 per share based on the volume weighted average price for N-Wave shares on the TSX Venture for the five consecutive trading days to and excluding and including April 22nd, 2019. As a consideration for the N-Wave shares, Aurora issued to N-Wave 840,576 common shares in the capital of Aurora at a deemed price of $11.89 per share based on the volume weighted average price for shares of Aurora on the Toronto Stock Exchange for five consecutive trading days to and excluding, including April 22nd, 2019. The N-Wave shares represent approximately 4.91% of the issue notes standing common shares of N-Wave on a non-diluted basis, which does not make them an insider in the company, by the way. You'd have to have at least 4.99% to be an insider. 
N-Wave received conditional approval for the transaction from the TSXV on April 12, 2019. The TSX and the New York Stock Exchange have conditionally approved the listing of the Aurora shares on such exchanges. Each of the N-Wave shares and the Aurora shares will be subject to a hold period for four months and one day from the date of issuance pursuant to the applicable security laws. What does management say about this news? N-Wave's technology offers very significant benefits that further improve the economic returns of our Sky Class facility, another revenue stream to build the financials of ACB. The technology provides us with industry scale flow through, reducing working capital requirements, accelerating time to market from harvest, as well as increasing our ability to produce bulk scale cannabis for extraction and use in derivative products. This is Terry Booth, CEO of Aurora Cannabis. Our ownership interest in N-Wave and the exclusive license arrangement in many of our current target markets creates the potential to generate additional financial synergies. Brent Charlton, CEO of N-Wave stated, N-Wave's growth continues to accelerate and we are delighted to have Aurora as an investor, industry partner, and technology collaborator to further the enhancement and propagation of N-Wave's Rev trademark drying technology. This partnership brings together two innovation leaders in the cannabis industry, and we look forward to working closely with the team at Aurora to deliver further value to our stakeholders. CapEx and working capital savings. Inclusion of N Wave Rev trademark technology in the design of the Aurora Sun and the Aurora Nordic facilities will result in significant CapEx savings on drying space, smaller footprint, and related HVAC investments. Inclusion of the technology in the existing Aurora Sky facility will also free up space, which can be re repurposed to increase the economic output of the facility. N-Wave's Rev trademark technology furthermore reduces drying time from five to seven days to less than one hour resulting in significant working capital savings and speed to market of product. The technology has certain additional benefits, including the support of industry scale flow through, accelerating the ability for large scale processing of cannabis and CBD rich biomass into intermediate or finished product. License agreement details. Aurora will have an exclusive license with sub-licensing rights to N-Wave's Rev trademark technology in the European Union, excluding Portugal, and exclusive options to secure the same rights in South America, excluding Peru and Australia. Aurora will pay N Wave a royalty on all cannabis products processed using the Rev trademark machinery. Aurora will receive an undisclosed share of royalties derived from any cannabis products dried with Rev trademark technology by sub licensees in jurisdictions where it holds the exclusive license. Aurora will have a non-exclusive sub license to the N-Wave te technology in Canada and will pay N-Wave a royalty on cannabis products processed in Canada using Rev trademark technology machinery. This is huge news, breaking news, and this is gonna be good news for both Aurora today and long-term and for N-Wave who shares are about $1.88 before this news. I'd put them on alert today based on this news. It's probably gonna explode. Aurora Cannabis invests 10 million into N-Wave and licenses drying technology. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. Invest in the best, because the best is blessed. And ACB is number two behind Cannabis Growth, which is on fire again today. Aurora is number two right now. Put them on your watches. Put them on your radar. They're a big winner. This is your boy Rich. If you're not winning, you're not watching. It's true. I'm out. Peace.